Hello, and welcome to the InfoOS Application Designer Series. In today's video, I'm going to walk you through the process of publishing and deploying widgets to a portal workspace. The process for deploying a widget is fairly simple. The widget is first created as a draft in InfoOS App Designer. That draft widget can then be published into a published area, which allows for multiple different versions of a widget. Widgets that are published can then be deployed into the widget catalog. Once widgets are deployed into the widget catalog, they are now available to all end users to be added to a portal workspace. The widget catalog is a catalog of widgets available to users. Widgets within the catalog can be assigned permissions to groups or individual users. This catalog includes standard OS portal widgets as well as any widgets that were created within OS App Designer. The widget catalog can be accessed from the My Widgets panel or by adding a widget to a workspace. This catalog is searchable, allowing the user to easily navigate to the widget they are looking for. In this next part, I'm going to walk you through how to actually publish and deploy a widget. Starting in M4 OS Portal, select App Designer from the OS landing page. In the previous video, I created a widget called Customer Listing that is still sitting in the draft section. Now that I'm done making changes to my widget, I want to now publish it into the Publish section. Doing so will still keep my draft widget in the draft section, but now it will create a version of my widget that is published into the published area. I'm going to click the ellipsis at the top right of the widget and select Publish. A confirmation will appear. I'm going to go ahead and click Publish. Now notice a message will appear in the top right confirming that my widget has been published. Now, if I click on the Publish section on the left panel, I can see all of the widgets that have been published from the drafts or deployed into the widget catalog. Any widgets with a green check mark at the top left indicate that it has been deployed into the widget catalog. Notice on my customer listing widget, there is no green check mark. This means that although the widget has been published, it is not yet deployed into the catalog. I'm going to select the ellipsis on the top right and then select Deploy. A confirmation message will appear. I will go ahead and select the Deploy button. Once deployed, a message at the top right will confirm that the widget has been successfully deployed, and now I can see a green check mark on my widget indicating that it was deployed. At this point, I have finished all of my tasks within OS App Designer. I started with a draft, published it into the Publish section, and have deployed it into the widget catalog for use. Now, say I needed to go back and make changes to my widget. I'm going to navigate back to my draft section, and using the ellipsis, I'm going to select Edit from the menu. I want to make a simple change, like changing the widget header. I'm going to click the drop menu at the top and select Page Attributes. I'm going to change the title of my widget to ERP Customer Listing, and then I'm going to click Finish. Once the draft has been saved, I can click the ellipsis menu and click Publish once again. When we publish again, we are now challenged with what type of release this is. I can specify the release type now with options of Major Release, Minor Release, or Patch. If I were to select Major Release, the first number of the version would change, so in this case it would change from 1.0 to 2.0. If I were to select Patch, the last number would change, so in this case it would change from 1.0 Point zero to 1.0.1. .1. In this case, I want to select minor release. In minor releases, the second number will change. So in this case, it will change from 1.0 to 1.1. I'm going to go ahead and click Publish. Now that it is published, I'm going to go back to my published area and locate my widget. My widget already has been deployed to the widget catalog once, hence why there is a green check mark displaying now. I'm going to select the ellipsis and click Settings. Notice at the top, it gives me the current version, and it says that I deployed version 1.0 of the widget. I'm going to click the Change Version button, and here I can specify what version I want deployed. This can allow users to advance to a version, or to even go back and redeploy a previous version. In this case, I'm going to select my new version 1.1 and click OK, then click Save at the top right. A message will appear stating that a new version has been detected and confirming that you want to deploy the new version to the portal. I'm going to go ahead and click Deploy, where a message will appear stating that the new version was deployed. 
Now that my widget is deployed, I'm essentially done in App Designer. It can now move on to Portal Workspaces. I'm going to click in the App Switcher at the top left, and I'm going to select my existing workspace. I'm going to click the Add Widget button to open the widget catalog. I'm then going to add my customer listing widget by hitting the Add icon in the top right. Once the widget has been added, I can now adjust the size of my widget by dragging the edges. Once I'm happy with my widget size, I'm going to click Save at the top right. Now I have a fully functional widget on a workspace. This concludes today's video. In the next part, we will cover how to set up context messaging so widgets can interact with one another in a workspace. To follow along, Make sure to like and subscribe to the M4 Technology YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.